Hi, this is Ma'aza Mengiste, and I am here to talk to you about my novel, The Shadow King, which is set in 1935 during Mussolini's invasion of Ethiopia. The book is told from the Ethiopian perspective as well as the Italian. And through research, I stumbled upon the fact that Ethiopian women had fought in the front lines with men. So one of my central characters is a young woman, a young girl at the time, Hirut, who's a maid in the home of a nobleman and his wife. And Kidana, the nobleman, is raising an army. His wife is supposed to be uh, gathering women together to cook food, take care of the wounded, bury the dead. But she has her own ideas about what women can do. And she starts training women to fight alongside the men and Hirut is also one of those women is who is training with her the book is also told from the Italian perspective through Ettore and his commanding officer Carlo Fucelli I was really interested particularly in Car in um, Ettore's perspective as an Italian and as a Jewish man and as a photographer I wondered what he would have to say about the war when um, when he begins and he is fighting as an Italian photographer taking photos of atrocities and then as the war continues and anti-semitic laws are passed by Mussolini he slowly moves from being on the side of Italy to suddenly being called an enemy Hirut in my book also begins to wonder who the enemy is she's fighting for Ethiopia. She's being told that all the work that she does is to maintain the country's freedom, to fight for it. But when Kidana starts making unwanted sexual advances towards her, she begins to wonder if she's really free and who the enemy is. Um, she begins to ask in the book, isn't a girl worth as much as a country? Isn't my body territory to protect at all costs? Um, I was really influenced by several books through my writing of this novel. One of them is The Conscript by Gabriel Jesus Hailu. And The Conscript is a novel, it's a, a story, it's very short, but it is dense and it is lovely. It's from the perspective of an Ascari, one of Italy's soldiers from Eritrea. And in this book, the Ascari is on his way to Libya with the Italian forces to help pacify, basically to help conquer and colonize Libya. The questions that he asks in this book about justice, about freedoms, about what it means to be a full human being afforded the same rights as anyone else was profound for me and left a lasting impression. Uh, I, this is, if you can see how old my, my copy is of this book, I think I have had it for at least 20 years. I have read this book so many times. It moved me. It shattered my world. The understanding of what literature could do, of what words on a page could sound like. I have often said that Toni Morrison is thunder on a page. And reading this book was the one was the the thing that that brought me to that conclusion. She could create language that allowed you to witness some of the most horrific acts in history, um, but you could bear it and you could learn from it and you could grow from it because of the way she wrote. Dasha Drindic's Trieste is a masterpiece of world history. This book helped me understand what you could do with fiction, how fiction could break into the boundaries that were set by history, the way that history could be retold and re challenged and also reaffirmed through fiction. Um, Dasha is, was a Croatian writer uh, and this book is one of my favorites, and I come back to again and again. 
Thank you so much for staying with me, for listening, and thank you, Waterstones, for inviting me to do this.